hello everyone in this video we are going to make this cool motion graphics uh, with the geometry nodes it's like the curl noise and in this video i also show you the new group nodes that i have added to the preset so let's get start uh, this is a really uh, easy effect uh, to make this with the geometry nodes and you can apply this effect on any uh, mesh uh, shape so in this case i'm using a plane so that we can see these lines clearly so let's add the geometry nodes so first we need to scatter some points on this uh, surface and then we're going to instance the lines on those points so let's uh, combine these and now let's add our instance object which is curl line So we have these uh, lines so the idea is to align these lines along the tangent direction to the surface based on the field so in this case we are going to use the noise field so let's add the noise texture then we need to subtract uh, this so let's subtract this uh, by 0.5 okay so the value of this noise texture is from 0 to 1 and we want to center this around 0 so now it has values uh, from minus 0.5 to plus 0.5 okay then to get uh, the tangent along this uh, surface basically we have to take the cross product of this field with the normal of these points these normal are basically the normal of this underlying mesh so if we align uh, these lines based on this cross uh, sorry change this to where it is uh, cross product based on this cross uh, vector then these lines will be along uh, along the tangent direction to this surface let me decrease the size to be 0 0.1 and let's increase the density to 500 and also change this to 40 and let's decrease the scale to 1 and connect this to scene okay see it's like the color noise but mathematically it's not exactly the color noise so let me explain what is happening here so we have the normal along this uh, surface like this and suppose we have some uh, this noise field uh, means along this direction and if we take the cross product we will get the vector which will be perpendicular to both this vector which is noise and also perpendicular to the normal which is n this is f and let's name this as t so the equation is basically t is equal to f in cross product with normal so this is equation it is used here and for the curl noise that is used in the fall of tracer node for the geometry nodes which was is like tangent is equal to so in that file i'll use the curl of the field multiplied by the normal uh, this is uh, used in that file so this is some kind of a derivative so here we are only using the cross product a cross vector to align these lines okay and later i'll show you a, a creator of all of tracer node based on this concept as well which is a much faster as compared to the exact curl noise so we have these uh, let me hide these annotations uh, we can scale these lines based on the length of this cross vector you can also use uh, this noise as well but in this case i'm going to use this uh, length of this uh, vector then add the map range node plug this to this and let me increase this 0.1 and also change this 
something like this and let me increase the thousand okay and then we need to realize uh, these instance because we want to transfer the UV from this underlying plane to these lines so it is important to realize uh, these instances to get the actual uh, mesh data and let's convert this to mesh to a mesh and we also don't need this base geometry let's directly plug this into the group output and i'm going to add here is the curve line and we have to change this x value and make this z0 you can also means uh, change this set these x1 or z value according to your requirement means x value gives to the width and if I change the Z value, let me go to here. Basically, this Z act as a scale, and if I change this, it's going to give them these lines width perpendicular to this surface. Okay, so I want along the tangent direction so let's change the x value so we have uh, these lines and next also add the set material node and let's add a material so let's select this and now we need to transfer the uv map so let's add a vector input here uv change this to vector and then directly plug this to the output so here in the modify tab we have to select the uv map and we're going to rename this so we're going to store this uv map as v in the output attribute so now let's go to the material so let's add a material to this background plane i think this one black material and for the lines these are the lines i'm going to use this material let's change this to white for the moment so that we can see this so let's add the attribute node not alpha change this to color and type here uv see we have this uv map for these lines now let's add a texture so i'm going to use a image texture for these lines let's plug this into the vector and i'm going to select this uh, parrot image for this so let me change some of the settings so we have uh, this and now let's go to the geometry node and increase the number density to 5000 i think scale is slightly higher so you have this effect and if i add the voronoi texture here you will see we can make this like a brush stroke effect that means decrease the scale to three it's like a brush strokes okay and we increase the density to 10,000 so you can get a really nice effect if you animate uh, these noises uh, with the time so this is it basically uh, for the setup of the geometry nodes as well for this shader and now i'll show you the group node that i have created based on this uh, concept 
and the first one is this curl gradient like lines and let me change this to points okay so i have created these seven uh, field uh, group nodes that will give you the field based on the mesh on the object and based on this spline or curve and concept that i have just explained i have created this uh, group node that will give you the curl or the gradient and then you can change different setting means align cross vector or the gradient and then you can use the custom scale and change its value here and also you can offset these lines along the normal of the input vectors okay and the next one is the tracer based on this concept uh, this one so it works similar to the sim file of tracer node you have to plug these nodes in a series and here you input instance of the curve and here you will uh, define your mesh okay so i used this mesh which is a plane and so in this field you will uh, define your noise field okay and this uh, uh, tracer is much faster as compared to exact curl noise tracer so here you can select the gradient or the curl and and this option basically limit these uh, lines only onto the mesh surface means if I enable this these lines always projected on this mesh plane and if you disable this you can offset these lines along the normal of this underlying mesh you enable this then all these lines will be projected onto this mesh surface so this is it you can download all these presets and project files from my patreon page and if you like this work then please do support me and subscribe to my channel for more updates until next time happy noting bye